Um, for this tutorial, we will be talking about transcription options. Now, before you ever go and open up a MIDI file, you can determine some of the transcription options for taking that MIDI file to sheet music. Where you can check that is in Setup, Transcription Options. Now, what you'll see here are some different options that will determine um, what the notation composer or notation musician um, will do with a MIDI file to show you sheet music. Okay, uh, and I'm just, I'm just going to go through and explain a few of the options here and show you just a little bit of an example of um, what some of them will do. Okay, for the rhythm style, um, most of us are used to standard sheet music, which shows us all the rhythms written out as they should be played, including triplets or tuplets. Um, that's the standard style. Okay. Now, there's also swing style, which rather than um, having all the triplets and the tuplets shown in the score, um, assumes that you know this is a swing style file, and it will show you, rather than triplets, it'll show you straight notes. Um, with the assumption that when you see that, you're going to know that you got to swing that rhythm. Um, similar situation for syncopated. Okay. Um, these are for uh, more literal rhythms that are somewhat off the beat. Okay. So in other words, it would give you kind of um, a standard transcription would give you too detailed and it would be, wouldn't be so easy to read. If you know that it's syncopated, then you can choose syncopated and it'll show you straight notes. Um, but if you listen to the file, you'll still hear that syncopation where the, the um, rhythms tend to be slightly off the beat. Okay, so we're going to take a look at a file. We're going to use standard. Um, you can also transcribe ornaments. Now these are performance um, items where maybe you have a grace note, you know, a little, s a real fast light note before or after a given note. You can either have those written out, okay, if you, if you uncheck it, then you'll have that note written out. If you check the option, then it will show you that performed grace note as a grace note on the score. Um, the same thing for trills or tremolos. Um, and you can also change any of these after you've initially transcribed the file. Okay, you can use format, retranscribe um, at any time after, or there are also options within <coughs> the um, notes and rests palettes uh, that will allow you to change um, individual grace notes, individual trills or tremolos, um, or you can, as I said, you can use retranscribe and change all of them uh, globally for the whole file. <coughs> you can um, detect and display voices. If you've got a soprano, alto, tenor, bass par um, file in two staves and you want to split the voices so that they're more easy to read for each of your people, you can use split. Or if you've got, say, a uh, piano and you want to just do, um, <coughs> excuse me, split that into the treble and the bass clef, then you can use single voice for each one and it's a little, perhaps a little easier to read. Um, if you want to reduce the number of ties initially, you can use this, uh, check this box called remove overlaps of notes. And that will give you a little bit cleaner score. Um, you can also, uh, sometimes if you have uh, syncopated, or not syncopated, um, staccato playing in a file or something like that, you might want to remove the rests that would show up if you gave a very strict um, transcription of that file. Do not remove rests. We'll give you a very strict transcription, but it also may give you um, also may give you more detail than you really want <laughs> in the score. It won't be as easy to read for playing. Um, 16th rest is, you know, that's, that's okay. And you can mess around with that too uh, to see what gives you the best sheet music. Um, again, you can, this is basically going to be showing in your retranscription dialog as well. So you can always redo it um, however you want. Okay. Now, 
When notation musician or notation composer first opens a file, there are certain adjustments that it can make for you. Um, for keyboard parts, typically in a MIDI file, a keyboard part will only be one track, which translates to a single staff. Most keyboard players like to have a treble clef and a bass clef for a two-hand part. Um, musician and composer will automatically change that, will automatically split that single staff into two into a two-hand part for you if you select to do that. Right here, keyboard staff probably should be split into right hand and left hand staves. Okay, now sometimes too, and we've found this amazingly often, um, there might be two keyboard staves, but they're switched. Um, for some reason, the left hand one is above the right hand. Um, composer and musician will do their best to detect such um, reversals, and they'll, you know, they'll fix them for you. <coughs> um, if you're a keyboard player and you want the piano part at the top, you can check that here. The keyboard, the right hand, left hand staves should be ordered before other instrument staves. Okay, that'll put the piano part at the top of your score. Uh, for guitar parts. Guitar is a an octave transposing instrument, and we can have that automatically transposed an octave higher. And we'll talk about transcription in another tutorial. Um, but for right now, um, <clears throat> this is just one of the automatic transcription options that you can have. If you have um, something like a clarinet staff, um, bass staff, or other single note instruments or a single vocal part, say a melody line or something. Um, if, it, if composer or musician detects that two notes are pretty close, it looks like a chord, um, then it's probably like a grace note and a note, um, or it may be two very fast notes that are very close to each other. You can have that transpose, or uh, not transpose, transcribed as two single notes, two separated notes. Okay, um, so these are some of the options that it will automatically make adjustments for you. And again, these are all things that you can do yourself manually to the file if you want to. Um, so you don't have to have these checked, but um, they're just there's some very common things that we've found that are typically that typically need to be fixed with MIDI files, and so we've tried to do that for you. Um, Transcription of lyrics. Um, sometimes people will put in a MIDI file. They'll put in, um, say, information about themselves or their website or something like that, and they'll put it in a great long string of one lyric. Um, so what we've done here is to hide lyrics with the length of greater than 12 characters. Uh, that's just to keep that sort of clutter out of a score. Um, you can always unhide those lyrics later if you want to in the text lyrics uh, menu and palette. <coughs> okay, so let's take a look at what uh, a little bit of this looks like. We're going to click OK for the transcription options and we're going to open a file. So I've got this one here that I had looked at earlier. Now, here you'll see the recommended corrections and it tells me exactly what they are. The track bass probably is a guitar which the notes should be shown an octave higher. Bass is also an octave transposing instrument. Um, the track piano probably needs to be split into right hand and left hand staves. Uh, track guitar. So all of those are ones that I would like to have. If you don't want one of the corrections made, simply uncheck it. Okay, like so. Now I am going to check these though because I do want it to make that. Um, so we'll click yes and we'll see here the bass is in a, what we would s typically see as a bass line uh, for reading. If those notes weren't transposed, and we can take a look at that, okay, if, if you look in staff, here we can show concert pitches or show instrument transposed pitches, and that's where it's at right now. The concert pitches, um, so you puts the bass, those bass notes down so we can see that they're done. I'm going to undo that change. Okay. Now, here we have the two-part 
with the two hand piano part. Um, the notes for this probably fall with later on within the treble clef, which is why we have a treble clef there. Typically that would be bass, but anyhow. Okay, what we're, another thing we're interested in here, we have these triplets. Now, if you take a look at this and you say, ah, I don't like the way that looks, let's try something different. You can go to Format, Retranscribe. Okay. Now here you see most of the options that you saw before with the without the autocorrect that uh, on opening the file. Okay, so you can and you don't have to retranscribe all of them. Let's say, you know, these guys all they want all the notation written out. The trombones though they don't want to see the triplets. They want the swing notation. So, okay, um, we're gonna leave the rest of these like they are. I just want to show you. The difference, and I have to get this over here so you can see it. Uh, I want to show you the difference in the swing. Okay, so we're going to say okay, and you'll see now these are straight notes, and <coughs> we understand that the trombonists are going to know to swing those notes. Now, if we play this, you'll hear that the performance is the same. The notation is the only thing that has changed. Okay, so all these changes that we're talking about for transcription options do not affect the playback of the file. It only affects the notation that you see for the file. Um, so it's one way that we try to be very flexible so that you can get the sheet music that you want to see, that you can read, and that you can play and enjoy. That's the end of this tutorial.